Hey guys, uh, welcome to Karish TV. I really hope you're having an amazing day. Today I have somebody special um, here. Her name is Deborah, and she's the founder of this amazing movement called you're way King too kind, Canvas. <laughs> so, uh, Deborah, would you like to uh, share a bit about yourself? Sure, sure. So, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Deborah. And um, on a on a weekday, I am a full time content manager at um, at a digital performance agency. Nice. And apart from that, I also am a storyteller slash content creator at King Canvas. And I feel so blessed that I can be with you here today to do this. So yeah, thank you for inviting me. No problem. It's a pleasure to have you like yeah. uh, to do this collaboration. Mm -hmm. So uh, today, guys, what we're gonna talk about is uh, why is process so important. I feel that um, a lot of the times we neglect mm. this. We don't want to talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. So today we wanna uh, share with you about why process is so important. It's been on our hearts yeah. while we were having conversations and mm. stuff when we first met. Yeah. And we decided, hey, you know what? Let's let's go with this. Yes. Uh, so um, having said that, Debbie, uh, why don't you share um, your story? What is the story behind King Canvas? Okay, sure. And yeah, I, I love that you pointed out that this is um, on our heart because yeah. actually the whole uh, process of how this uh, topic came about is through our conversations yep. and through how you were sharing your process and I was sharing my process and we just thought hey you know what let's hope that the listeners uh, today will be able to benefit yep. from a thing or two you know from what we are learning Correct. and so yeah okay story of King Canvas right yep so back then um, when I when I was in my final year of college mm. um, I was going through a very complicated time um, even to date I think that that period of time was um, one of the most complicated that I've been through mm. in my entire life and um, I was having some sort of physical condition that uh, no doctors could explain. Wow. No one could tell me what was going on with me. And I had a few loved ones mm. who were in and out of the hospital. Correct. And um, also at the same time, um, there were some question marks in some of my friendships. I just didn't know what was happening. I didn't know what was going on. And during that time, I, I had so many questions for him like mm. the Bible tells us to love people but how do we love people well and, yep. and how do we take care of our emotional health you mm. know like for example the Bible says uh, uh, God says do not be anxious yep. right but how how do we not be anxious you know Correct. so all these questions I remember um, I was asking God and at that period of time God was so gracious to mm. give me so many lessons he was revealing so many things to me uh, through the holy spirit through the bible and through so many great uh, leaders that, wow. are, that are out there as well Correct. so after learning all this uh i was like wow god i wish i learned this when i was younger mm. i think that was the main thing i just wish that someone would have told me this when i was younger yep. so i told god god i want to do something for you mm. and so i thought of maybe creating a platform uh, where I could just bring people along my journey to just yep. share what I'm learning and hopefully th uh, those who are listening will mm. be able to benefit from it as well. Correct. So that's when I thought of this idea. Mm. And so I just started praying about it. And um, after that, uh, one day I attended this event mm. um, and this person came and laid his hands on me and he said, Deborah, um, whatever you have been praying for, God says, go ahead with it. Wow. And so that was sort of my confirmation to be like, okay, you know what? Time to take a step of faith. Time to uh, step out of my comfort zone. And so that's how I created King Canvas, which is a platform where um, I really aim to create a space where people can encourage and empower one another mm. uh, in truth and love one conversation at a time. Wow. So that is wow. how King Canvas was that's born. A, that's <laughs> amazing. I mean, definitely <laughs> like when... The, the preacher came and prayed for you and yeah, stuff yeah. you would have felt like uh, oh my god like god actually listens to my prayer yeah, and stuff like that exactly. and just just like that like like 
like uh, like a preacher comes up to you lays his hand and he tells you exactly what you need to know like how how do you feel about that um like like what you said at mm. a part of me uh felt really at peace that god actually loves the fact that i was trying to do something for him yep. and that he wants to partner with me to do this nice and also um uh, another part of me was like god you sure ah You know, because I mean, I'll be honest. There's always a part of me, or rather, for myself, I'm a little bit scared. Like, what if I'm just overthinking this? You know, mm. I'm sure if anyone else can do this better. Who am I? I'm not smart enough. I don't know if my degree qualifies me to do that. You know, so I, uh, I had a lot of like, my confidence level was not there. Um, I had definitely had my doubts. But you know, there's this thing where people say, um, they call it. analysis paralysis mm. uh, it means that you know sometimes we overthink things and we overanalyze it and then it paralyzes from actually doing something wow. so i just told myself you know what that um just do it lah you mm. know just start it and you know god will definitely um direct we plan by god directs right so wow. we just start something and that's basically my journey lah i've not i'm scared but mm. i still take a step forward and i trust that god will show me the way wow mm. that's that's amazing and how about you how about uh, Courage Catalog I would love to hear about how Courage Catalog came about okay so so basically like uh, when it comes to the Courage Catalog mm-hmm. so last year uh, 2019 I was doing this leadership course right. with my church mm. so I just felt this burden like to um, put out videos encouraging videos or motivational videos two three very simple um, short videos yeah. uh, just to encourage people yeah so i started doing it but it was on my instagram and on my facebook account i mean it was i didn't think much of it until like people come and they after they hear the video yeah. i mean usually when you put something out right you will never expect anybody to like actually listen to exactly. it exactly yes and then <laughs> on top of that come and you feedback yeah like a few people come here josh like uh, i was having a bad day and um, whatever that you spoke about was so encouraging and and he kept me going so I was like Josh should do more videos so I'm like ah oh, okay that that's great and then I was thinking okay like just keep doing I'm, I'm doing my leadership course and I'm putting out these videos and stuff like that and then uh, I had few people coming and telling me so like uh, Josh why didn't you start up an Instagram page nice. so for me personally I didn't feel it was time yet Mm-mm. I you just I mean I'm sure you know yeah, what I'm talking yeah, about yeah. like uh when it's not time for you to start something new mm-hmm. you you just stay where you are you are at and you just uh, continue doing what you're doing lah so this year somewhere in January um, coming to the end of January I just felt this uh, urge and this prompting to start up an Instagram page right and that is how the courage catalog came about amazing So I was putting up like quotes, mm. quotes every day, putting up quotes, and then from there, I just felt, hey, you know what? Let's take this a step higher. Mm. I want to, uh, like, create a website, mm. get writers in to like write um, articles based on their experiences and whatever wisdom they have to share. And I also feel that I, I see this everywhere. I see there's so many people that I speak to. They have so much of experience and wisdom, yes. but no platform. Mm. So hence, this whole slogan that I have for the Courage Catalog, which is ordinary people with, with extraordinary, extraordinary experiences, mm. and you would be surprised how the normal person they have been through crazy process, so much of adversity and mm. so much of experience that um, it is crazy that they do not have a voice or mm. a platform to share. So that is why uh, this whole platform was created, lah. That's amazing, uh, and so honestly, I love the fact that uh, mm. that's a similarity in yep. our stories where we don't really have a the whole plan. We we don't really know how exactly things are gonna turn out, mm. but we just started with what we have. Okay. We started with what we can offer. Like you told God, God, okay. Uh, I can create a platform, mm. and after once you created your Instagram platform, that's when the idea of the website and everything came about, mm. right? You took a step, and then suddenly something else comes up, something yes, else comes up, and that's definitely. amazing. And I love the fact that you also you saw a problem and you wanted to solve it. You mm. saw that. 
people have stories but they didn't have a platform yep. and so you wanted to create a space for them to do that and exactly. I love that I love that you are creating a space uh, for people to share their stories and honestly as a reader when I read um, those articles I'm personally blessed wow. I am really personally so blessed by them so it's amazing thank it's you amazing. so much Debbie yeah. your, your words are very encouraging thank you so much so having said that right mm. um what would your advice be how would you say how do you sustain your dream how do you sustain um whatever that is that has been entrusted to you um this responsibility of uh, carrying king canvas forward and stewarding it what advice would you give to sustain this mm. okay um for me right i'm i'm a strong believer that you and i and to whoever that's listening we're all in a process Wow. We are all in a process and we all have a dream. We all have desires, right? Of where we want to be, what we want to do, mm. right? Um, for me, it would be this. For some people, it may be, I want to be an artist mm. or I want to uh, start a hair salon, you know, to help the poor, let's say, I don't know. Correct. It can be anything, any anything. sort of business. And um, I believe we all have these big dreams, but sometimes we... Um, we get so caught up in this big idea mm. that we forget uh, that we may not have the character or skills to sustain or to build it yet. And so I believe that we have a generous God mm. and that He just loves to bless us. He wants to bless His children. He wants to give us great gifts. Yep. And whatever that we have in our heart, He placed it there. Mm. Whether it's to play the drums well, whether it's to do, you know, whatever it is, mm. He placed those good desires in our heart. Yep. And He wants us to be able to achieve it also. Mm. But um, I believe that before He wants to give us that blessing, yep. He wants to prepare us so that we will be able to steward that blessing preach well. It, preach it. And so that's why I think Woo. that we need to be aware of the process that we are in. Mm. And with that, I think we need to learn to be responsible mm. with what we are given and wow. what, we are, we, what we are entrusted with. Mm. So for example, sometimes we tell God, God, I want to take a loan, I want to start a business. But mm. God is telling us, are you managing your personal finance well? Come on. Or if Come let's on. say we tell God, I, it's time for me to advance in my career. You know, yes. I want to step out of this company. So I want to uh, lead this. I want to do that. Uh, mm. Because, you know, I can't take my boss anymore. You know, he's scolding me for all these things. Yep. And I think sometimes God may be asking us, okay, so your boss has been scolding you, but have you tried coming on time to work? Wow. Maybe if you came on time, he wouldn't scold you. Yep. So it's all these little things, you know, um, how we organize our time, how we... Um, how we honor our authorities, Correct. how we manage our finances, how we, um, how we self-regulate even. Mm. All these little things, it looks very small. It looks very insignificant. It's yep. not all the very Instagram-worthy stuff that you would put up out there. Correct. But it's all very necessary for us to build our character mm. so that we will be able to carry the blessing that God is going to give to us. Come I on. believe He wants to give it to us. But we have to prepare ourselves for it. And that's why we um, we should uh, place our focus and look at where we're at right now and ask God, God, what is it I need to learn in mm. my current season? Correct. Believing that wherever He places is where we need to be to get to where we need to go in the future. Mm. Yeah. Wow, that is amazing, Debbie. So what, what I can gather from what you're saying mm. is uh, process teaches you how to prioritize yeah. what is important. Yes, yes. Wow. So just, just to um, add on to yes, that, please. what is, I mean, basically what's on my heart is, mm. um, I, I believe that like what you said, God wants to bless us. Um, he wants to, if today, like for example, after we finish doing this video, mm. suddenly I take up my phone and say, uh, you know, there's 10 million ringgit in my bank account. Yeah. That would be awesome, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah I feel like God can do that. Most anytime. definitely. Like anytime, right now. Right now. <laughs> right now. Right now. Hopefully, let's check the phone. Yeah, later. Say. Later after this, we check our phone. You know. Who knows? So, uh, <laughs> so, what I feel is, right, that uh, God can give it to you anytime. Anytime. But, He's interested in your character. Mm. So, it is in process. Uh, it is during when you face trials and tribulations, character is built. 
God is interested in character because in order for him to give you something um a dream or or a vision or a project or anything of that sort you have to be a good steward yes you must be able to handle whatever you have given been given responsibly mm. and also to add on to that i really feel that uh, we need to get this mindset that process is forever yeah yes yeah. man yes for me right you know what i feel sometimes sometimes i feel okay now all the doors are shut god is pruning me i'm going through this process and pop once i hit that that point where i know that the door is opening i step in and i'm like oh, okay lah freedom no more process now is all riches big bungalow yeah big car uh, swimming pool and mm-hmm. all that but it's, yep. it's you go deeper yep so the the bigger the responsibility is yes the bigger the process yes more growth yep and the process never ends yeah so um, i love that you mentioned that because with every blessing yep comes a challenge correct we let's say uh, for like for example we want a child oh my gosh god if i want a child i want a child give me a child that will be the best thing in the world i mean i'm not a mom but i'm just you know giving an correct. example and then a child comes How do I change the diaper? Wait, how many times does a child uh, have to drink? Oh, oh, uh, oh my gosh, the education of a child, you know? So the child is a blessing. Wow. But with the child comes the challenge. Correct. So that, that is the same thing, you know, whenever we take a step, we, whatever we pray for, mm. that blessing comes with a challenge also. Definitely. So definitely. if we don't know how to, if we don't navigate through our current challenge and we look at, you know, oh, we want that, we want that, we want that thing in the future, We were not preparing ourselves for it. We need to focus and ask God, like, okay, God, I, I really, really like find this annoying right now. Mm. But you know what? I'm just gonna do it because I know that mm. in the future I would need this to sustain that. Yeah. And also, like, I feel like, like, since you mentioned like mm. um, childbirth and stuff like that, yeah, like, a lot of us, like, I just feel even for myself, we want a relationship, we want to be husbands and we want to be wives. But we do not understand that there is a huge process that actually happens. God is training you for your future. God is training you for, let's say, you you you, you want marriage. Mm. Uh, you want to step into the the this sacred union. There are huge responsibilities, man. It is something that I am personally coming to grasp with. Mm. I am personally coming to terms with because we always want to get into a relationship, right? Yeah. Uh, but we don't understand that this is. Lifelong. Yeah. And uh, basically, like uh, again, like back to the point, like in order to steward mm. marriage, in order to take care of your family, mm. you need to be responsible. Yeah. So process is so important that it exactly. Is. I'm glad we're on the same page. And I would just like to read a quote by uh, John Maxwell. Sure. He he says that you know the law of process mm. says that the routines and yep. tasks. That you make time for each day will eventually build the success for both yourself and your business. Wow! As John says, see what a person is doing every day, mm. day after day, and you know who that person is and what that person is becoming. Wow! And, and just to add to that, I yep. I strongly believe that as we want to achieve, you know, what is um. In our heart and uh, the where we want to go, mm. God is very much more interested in the person that we are becoming, and that He wants. Because at the end of the day, we are His ambassadors. Come on. So wherever we are, with our family, with our friends, at our current workplace, mm. we got to be excellent. Yep. We can't just like saying this is not important. I don't want to do this. I want that. No, we are where we are right now to be His ambassadors, and He's True. training us right now wherever we are. Yes. Mm. Amen to that. Totally agree with you, Debbie. Just in um, sh- briefly, lah. Mm. What practical steps will you give someone that that wants to start a business or is in business already, new, a newbie? Um, they are getting tired of the process. They want to give up. What will your advice be to them? Hmm. Okay. In all honesty, right, Joshua, I believe that. You and I, and mm. to whoever's listening, yeah. we're all the same. 
We are all the same. We are all the same. We are same. all in this process. Same, same but different. Same, same but different. That's the keyword. Same, same but different. But a lot of times, same, same. <laughs> we are all like frustrated with something. Yeah. We all, um, that's uh, we all just we get discouraged mm. from time to time, Correct. right? But I think if there's one thing that um, I would say is that. First of all, I'm not in any place to give any advice at all. So but what I do is that I learn from leaders around me. Mm. So the first advice that I would say is to learn from those who have went before you. Wow. For example, like John Maxwell, like all these great leaders out there, they have provided us with so much resources. And I, that's basically how I learn. I listen to them like uh, Simon Sinek or um, even Gary Vaynerchuk you know mm. for marketing advice he gives great advice yep. you know some people have their own opinions about him but if you listen to what he is trying to share mm. he teaches us to give value yep. he teaches us don't think about the profit all this kind of thing if you think about profit 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 all the time you're not going to go anywhere yep. you need to think about what you can offer mm. what you can give like uh, even what my dad you know he he always tells me the gift that god has given to you is meant to bless others it's never True. meant to bless others whatever you want to do in the future that is so great it's to bless others Correct. so that is how we are to think and i love that uh, people like john maxwell simon Sinek, and so many other great leaders out there they are giving us so many great advice that mm. that builds our foundation build a foundation you know yep. and that's why i think the next thing that we need to be very aware of is not to get distracted and not to compare with other people come on and not to rush mm. i think that what the enemy likes to do is tell us that we are running out of time come on he likes true. to say that look for for example you might tell me look at what joshua is doing he is already doing this he's already doing that and where you are right now you are only there so how you better catch up with him mm. you better do this and what that does it, it shifts my focus from what i need to focus on to what you're doing and i'll be comparing with you but like what you said same same but different we are all in process but how you learn how i learn yep. where you, what your weakness is what my weakness is it's different very different and so wherever God has placed us right now is mm. necessary for us to learn what we need to learn correct and if I were to di get distracted on the best place ever social media yep. everyone looks like they are amazing out there and yes. whatnot right yes. and that's great we should celebrate them we should encourage them we should cheer them on to achieve their dreams but correct. on our own on our for what god has called us to do mm. we have to focus on our own learning process correct and we are not in a rush i really always remind myself you know i am not in a rush correct. i don't need i'm not in a rat race yep i'm not in a rat race and life is happening right now there are so many great people around us that we can serve. Mm. Not everything is Instagram worthy. Not everything is out there to put like, look guys, look what I've achieved. No, it's just process. It's just loving your neighbor, loving your parents, loving yep. your church, loving um, people around you. And all this requires energy. Mm. It re requires time. And so if we put everything together, let's say church, uh, whatever we are commit committed to, our family, our friends, yep. They are all worth our time. Correct. They are all worth our time. And if let's say we were to cancel all that out mm. and just focus um, our energy on that that dream, yep. it would get us nowhere. We need people. We need good connections. We need mentors. We need, need to be surrounded by people. And so in order to navigate through this process, we must keep our focus mm. on God and on what He told us to focus on. If let's say, I, let's say, for example, I get so focused on this and I think, okay, God, maybe today my devotion, I just do like five minutes like can, uh -huh, and then mm. after that I go and do my work. No, that will not work because ultimately God is interested in having a relationship with me Correct. and who I'm becoming. Correct. And how am I going to bear the fruits of the Spirit if I'm not spending time with the Holy Spirit? That doesn't come on, work. Come on, so true, so true. It's, it will not work. And if, yeah. you f if you ever find me not spending time with the Holy Spirit and talking about all these things, you have to 
be Tell careful you. of me oh, already. Oh, be careful you know. of you already. Ah, yeah. Okay, okay. Right, right. Correct, That's correct, true. correct. Yeah, so all this require time and I all see. this require us not to be distracted but why what other people are doing. Celebrate them, motivate them, cheer them on. But for our own, we need to remember that our journey is different. We are all in process but my journey will look different from yours. Come on. And it's okay. It's all good. It's all good. It's, it's custom made for me by God and your journey is custom made by God for you. Yeah. Mm. And how about awesome. you, Joshua? Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much for that. That's that's so good. Um so so for me um what I feel is number one, you need to know which season that you're in. Yes. So for mm. example, if you feel that doors are shut you feel like you're striving to get something done most likely you're in a season of pruning so don't fight it yep. embrace it ask god god what are you teaching me yeah what you want me to learn why is it so difficult keep asking the word of god says keep asking yes keep asking keep asking go every day in your devotion keep mm. asking the holy spirit god what are you teaching me why is it so difficult um what 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 are the skills are you trying to develop in me or is there anything in me mm. that i have to change you know so that i can um, steward what you're going to give me yeah. well So I feel that in order for you to stay in the process you need to know which season that you're in. Yes. And if you don't know stand your ground, don't try to uh move things by yourself. Wait for a word from God yes. or um use wisdom again like I said stand your ground and uh stay where you're at and even get a mentor. Yeah. Ask okay. mentor like Correct. you know what 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 do you think where do you think i go went wrong correct and i think one like one very uh like a sign that you may need to ask god what you're learning is that when you're in a stuck in a cycle mm. uh, or you ask that question god why does this keep happening to me yep. when we ask that and uh, that's the keyword okay why does this 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 happening to you and that's why we need to ask god already okay there's something i'm doing wrong here so like a repetitive cycle mm. you go to your mentors Get wisdom mm. and see it from a different perspective. Yes, that's excellent. And uh, one more thing, I really feel is mm. um, one gauge, a very practical gauge of why you need process is if you're unable to celebrate other people's success, then there is something really wrong. Yes. Um, I mean, yes. no judgment on anybody, but for me personally, this has helped. Mm. Like when I feel like I'm I'm scrolling to Facebook and I see someone else like um, doing something nice, if I feel like ah, I'm not going to comment and all that this what this person is doing is not so great, I'm not going to comment. That's that's like a warning sign for me. Ah, I got to check my heart. I say God, what's happening? What's happening inside? Why do I feel like this? I love that. Yeah, that is so, so true, and that is self-regulating also. Correct. Every time I I love that you mentioned that because mm. it's like. That's the privilege I think of having the Holy Spirit. Like whenever we think something like that, like yeah. a bad thought about someone, Got right? It. That's when the Holy Spirit, ah, where did that attitude come from? Mm. Mm, where did that check. come from? And I love that you mentioned to check our hearts. And that is I think one of the most important prayer that we should always ask God, God, check our hearts. I may want to do this, but am are my intentions right? Yeah. Are my intentions right? Because sometimes we can lie to ourselves. I mean, we That's can want We can want, we can lie to ourselves, one, but I always do, huh? No, can can. Yeah, yeah, always. But then that's where um the Holy Spirit loves us too much to leave us there. Mm. He will convict us, not condemn, not condemn. He will convict us to say, "Ah, okay, see how you felt about this person, right? Why, why did you feel that way? Mm. Where did that feeling come from?" Mm. And that's when we will, uh, self regulate, think, reflect, and then of course change, change, and that will. Take us to the next level, also. I believe. Mm. That's true. Now, so um, wanna just end this whole thing mm. by saying um, there's no judgment if you uh, there's no condemnation if you feel like are you like uh, why do I feel like this why why do I feel so messy in the process there's no judgment mm. there's no condemnation just we we just wanna encourage you to keep going keep searching your heart. Go back to God in all situations. Yes. Talk to your mentors. Talk to your accountability partners, mm. and trust me, guys. We are in the process. 
we have been we have come from a process we are in a process and trust me the next season is still, still, still going to process is still going to process <laughs> so um have have that that purview or that that uh, mindset of uh, for the long haul yeah that process is eternal yeah yep. so anything you want to add Debbie, to that i would just say that we are all imperfect people man and we are going to make mistakes yep and you should and we should actually make mistakes Correct. because that's the only way that we can learn we should just fail forward fail forward again and again wait, wait. fail forward yes uh? wow because when we fail we learn a lesson Superb. okay for the mic we have to be soft you know right. there we go <laughs> fail forward wow yeah that's... fail forward and learn the lesson don't condemn yourself mm. when you fail just tell god this is what i'm trying to do i failed but i got the lesson move forward and um i love a uh, i think it was bishop td jakes who said this yep. uh, we will stumble our way to where we need to be come on just stumble just stumble and we just have to be present to learn the lesson that we need to learn in our season and i think we'll be fine we'll all be fine Awesome, Debbie. Thank you so much again for uh, collaborating with me. And, You're most welcome. Uh, It's a privilege. It is really a privilege. Awesome. Um, we just want to tell you all that we love you. Um, God bless you. And keep going. Yes. Don't give up. Don't give up. Okay.